tall cylindrical vessel with nitrogen is located in gravity G. The density is constant everywhere. We need to find the temperature gradient dt by dh. So directly we cannot seem to think any relation between temperature and height. Correct? But we can imagine how pressure will vary with height. If we have it, some density material inside. And we know how we can relate temperature and pressure. So our approach here is dt by dh by chain rule we can write as dt by dp into dp by dh. Now dt by dp we can relate because we know pressure is proportional to temperature. And dp by dh we will just think of it as like a water column. So uh, just like we have a liquid inside a cylinder and how the pressure varies with height similar approach we can use for the gas as well. So let's say this is the column. So from the bottom at the height h, let's take a small gaseous element of height dh. So at a height h, let's say the pressure is p. So at the bottom layer of this uh, of uh, of this element, the pressure is p. So the force on this layer upwards is p, and on the top layer, let's say the pressure is p plus dp. So the force on the top layer because of the pressure just above it is P plus dp into A downwards. And because of the mass of the gas itself, there is downward force mg. Now, on this thin layer, which is at rest, we can say F net is zero, which means Pa, so top upward force is equal to downward force. So Pa is equal to P plus dp into A plus mg. So let's read this also. Let's say at height h pressure is p. So on a thin layer then f net is equal to 0. Now m we can write as rho into dv and dv is a into dh. So we write minus so we come to minus dp is equal to rho dh g or dp is equal to minus rho g dh just like liquid column of constant density. So you might be thinking there it was there, there was not any negative sign. That was because uh, in the water column we generally take the height from the top of the liquid. But here we are taking the height from the bottom. So that's why we have a negative sign. So from the bottom as you go up the pressure decreases. So if height increases pressure decreases. So if dh is positive, then dp is negative. So to make, uh, so you can think to, because both of them should be positive. So that's why we have a negative sign. But otherwise, conceptually, it is just like a liquid column of constant density. Actually, it need not be constant density also. So this rho should be the rho at that layer. Now in this question, actually, it's given that density is constant throughout but otherwise also this is a general formula. So I should just remove that. So yeah, now this is pretty much, this is perfect. Just like liquid column of density rho at height h. So this rho can be variable. In this question, however, density is constant. So now we have dp is equal to minus rho g dh. Which means we have got this term dp by dh already. So only this term is left. So let's talk about this term. So we know P is proportional to T. So let's write it in that form. So P is equal to rho RT by M. And because rho R and M are constants, we can say DT is equal to M by rho R DP. So we have this term DT by DP also now. So we'll just write DT by DH is equal to DT by DP. That is M by rho R into DP by DH. And dp by dh is minus rho g. So we put that and we find dt by dh is minus mg by r, our answer. Right.